Hey YouTube. So, um, I don't know if you remembered, but at the very, very end of my last video, I mentioned I was going to go try the Death Grip campaign after I finished the uh, the weekly raid. And the weekly raid, I got stuff I don't really care about. I got the Destroyer X, I got the Depleted Uranium Shells 2, and I got the Reconnaissance Battery. That one I need to go research. I don't really understand how that one works yet. So, um, I still had about a day's worth of time when I finished that one. So I um, started the campaign for the Death Grip. And if you want to see a complete end-to-end -end of the Death Grip, you could, I've recorded it under my under my bigger account. I did the mastery for it. However, I don't have those kind of ships on this uh, on this on this base, right? So um, uh, it took me. You have 12 hours to do the first, the first wave up, the first level, the first time. Uh, it took me um, over 10 hours. Um, some ships I was encountering, I was getting one volley off and then I would die, and so I just maybe taking like one or two percent of their life off and then go repair, do it again. I uh, I started at uh, the uh, complete 24. I was full 24 and a half million. And I got down to about 8 million. Uh, I had to go pick up cargo because I started a level 11 warehouse. Um, so, But here's the thing. Here, this is really why I want to do the video. I want to share something with you. When you do a campaign and you have multiple things that you can get. Like, see, there's three things here. When you finish that tier, guess what? You get all of them. You get whatever you're missing. You, could, I was thinking I would get one, and then I have to do it again to get the other one. So uh, when I was finishing the, when I was finishing this one, I was just crossing my fingers. I was like, "Oh, please give me the mauler. Oh, please give me the mauler. Oh, please give me the mauler." Uh, you know, because it's a, it's a really good ship for somebody that's only 30. Ooh, I leveled up. <laughs> um, I pretty much went through the entire level 35 doing this campaign. Um. But you get all of them. So I picked up the Mauler, the Hailstorm A, the Shockwave L, and the Alloy Armor MX1. I, you won't use that one. But this is a uh, Hailstorm is very, very useful. Uh, Shockwave Mortar L is very useful. Mauler is a great ship for lower levels, an awesome ship for lower levels. So uh, i got to figure out how I'm going to build that now. So... I am now th level 36. I have some strike missiles, some shockwaves. I got to upgrade the Intel Lab one to be able to use those. Um, some hailstorms, torrent missile um, stuff. I just probably won't really use that much. Um, so I got the Mauler. The nice thing about the Mauler is that it has three specials. So whereas all of, most all of the Forsaken ships. At least the bigger ones only have two specials, and so that's really cool. And this ship is really designed for either missiles, which is penetrating, or mortar. You get bonus reload on both of those. So it has it has already a bonus ballistic defense. So if you put uh, reactive armor on there, or the missile defense, now you got two very very popular defenses against uh, things that you're going to deal with in the Forsaken missions and in the campaigns. And then you put Hailstorm as some of your gun slots to deal with the mortar. That's kind of how you deal with the three popular types of guns that you have to deal with in the uh, campaigns and the and the Forsaken missions. Um, so I am I am super excited. I I picked up that and picked up the other stuff too. Really, uh, either using the Shockwave. So the Maulers will either have Shockwave L or the Torrent Missile. And then if I get, if I get the bigger torrent missiles, then I'll then I'll switch them out. Uh, the hailstorm A, which I, I'll just always use the hailstorm A. That's fine. There's no reason to ever even go to B if I. Um, there's not a huge reason to go to B. A is actually A is actually pretty reasonable. B is B is just fine too. C is too heavy for what it does. Uh, oh, and armors. I got a couple armors. Some evade armor is kind of cool. Uh, this is a ballistic armor, I think. Yep. This is a vade armor, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, but these are all light armors. None of these are heavy armors, which is good because my dock couldn't hold a ship with heavy armor anyway. Uh, the one thing I did do during the uh, uh, 
this, this campaign. I didn't think it through ahead of time. And when you're doing some of these campaigns, it's really helpful to have a launch pad. So I, I don't know if you all remember, I picked up about 100 coins because I did something early into the game that I didn't realize I was doing, and it gave me 100 coins. Yay me! Um, so I burned some of those and uh, going ahead and building the launch pad and, um, and hurrying up a rocket or two because some of the levels when you do a when you do the first tier you have to do five bases the fifth base you almost want to use two rockets on if you can help it um, I ended up using a rocket I ended up using three rockets and I actually used more rockets but the three three were helpful rockets so the daisy cutters, they didn't do much of anything. The problem is, is that most of the turrets in these campaigns were at least uh, at least took 500 damage to kill it. Okay, so I, I used a large daisy cutter at one time and it only killed half the turret. So that wasn't very helpful. The widowmaker, the large widowmaker, that was actually really helpful. I was very very happy with that one. I didn't try medium. Um, but I did a couple large widow makers. I did two large widow makers on the on the fifth base because the fifth fifth base has javelins, a whole crap ton of halos. So I um, so what would be nice is you really only do this on your first time around on doing them. But uh, leave enough time on the fifth base so that you can fire the first rocket. And then if you can leave at least two more hours on your campaign to build a second rocket and wipe out some of those halos so that you're not constantly being bombarded. Uh, the other thing was uh, the fifth base and I want to say another base below that one has, um, I don't know the name of the ship, but it's a big black ship and it shoots mortar at you. Okay. Um, my problem was ships that did not have engines could not outrun the mortar. So the only two ships, the only two fleets I had that could actually kind of outrun the mortar is this one with the, um, uh, I forget what these are called, rapier missiles, and then these with the dip, diplomatic mortars. Uh, those are the only two that, that almost outran the mortar. And when I say almost, they didn't always outrun the mortar. They would outrun it the first like two volleys that the guy threw off and then then I started to get hit so that took a lot of work I did I was able to use the um, these guys a lot and you, as you can tell from that the fact that um, go watch a prior video and you can see that these are uh, quite a bit more ranked up than they were before um, a solid fuel booster three would have been way more helpful. Uh, two, the one ship that has the two, there were several places where that was the only ship that was that was able to fire. The range was just not quite enough for the natural natural um, uh, torrent missile. So solid fuel booster three would have been awesome. Um, that that would have actually been very helpful. Um, having everything instant repair was was still very helpful. Uh, the, the next, um, so what I'll end up doing is going back and doing, um, probably run the trench. Well, actually, I have no reason to do this one now because Mauler is way better than Floating Fortress A. Um, Mauler, I have to compare him. Mauler actually might be better than the Ram part, too. Um, I might not have a reason to go back and back and do these two again and it, it would take a lot of work to to get these done so um, so anyway I was just super psyched that I actually got that finished I'm, I'm gonna start the uh, research for the solid fuel booster 3 I need more warehouse space so I started building Started upgrading this warehouse, which should give me plenty of room, and then I can start doing a lot of research in the Intel lab, which will free up upgrade time, so I can start upgrading on my turrets. 
Um, I need to upgrade this too. I need to get to the... I really want... Sentinel Missile 4. I gotta have level 8. Okay. I really want to get that. So I'm going to build all the turrets, but I probably won't put any guns on them until I get that. Um, I can do these. Two. I'm doing this one. Nope, I'm doing this one right now. I can, I can still do these two, and then i got to upgrade this whole naval lab thing. When I upgrade the naval lab, though, I will upgrade uh, this first, because this is what is necessary. The depleted, depleted uranium is what is necessary to take the defense platform to a level 4. So uh, that'll be cool. And um, that's pretty much all that's going on. I just gotta start collecting back up some money again, um, and figure out how I'm gonna use that mauler. Um, um, I, I'm super psyched I got the mauler such a such a low level. Um, so, but it takes a while to build, and I got problems with having um, too small of a shipyard too. Once I start building them. So anyway, talk to y'all later. Bye bye.